Good evening, loved ones. How's everybody doing today on this Tuesday? Hopefully, or Tuesday, Thursday. My bad, guys. Hopefully, everybody's doing wonderfully great. Had a safe day, chilling wherever you're at in this beautiful world that we live in. This is your boy, Hamid G. That'd be this guy right here, guys. But those of you on YouTube that don't know, I'm that guy that brings the latest and greatest in the wild, wild west of crypto land. I bring you developing and breaking news in Doge and the overall crypto markets, guys. Now, if you're new to the channel, just stopping by. Maybe you could consider to maybe give it a thumbs up now because I deserve it. Just because you feel like being generous and being nice. Uh, or maybe you could subscribe to the channel. Or don't do either of those. I just appreciate you stopping by. It is all good in the hood if you don't. None of this is financial advice. It's just your boy sharing his thoughts and opinions. Nothing more, nothing less now. Bang, let's get into the content. Bitcoin is sitting at 40,843 with 99 cents. It is up 2.83% for the day. Not too bad considering just a couple days ago we were sitting between 37,000 and 39,000, right guys? But now it, it has bounced this way up. Hopefully we'll, we'll stay at this 40K range and continue to push up, right? All right guys, well enough of Bitcoin. We'll get into a little bit of that later on down the road. Let's dive into Dogecoin, right? All right, guys, we're sitting at 0 0.2002, which is basically 20 cents, right? Uh, we are down 2.46% for the day. Our 24-hour high is 19 cents, and our 24-hour high is sitting at 0 0.2025, right, guys? So we're just, you know, we're a little bit down from that 24-hour high. Market cap uh, hasn't changed pretty much since yesterday. Uh, we are sitting at 26.19 billion, and volume is at 1.14 billion for the last 24 hours. All right, guys, now let's dive into this article here right guys and then we'll get into the chart because this article basically correlates with the with the charts so we'll dive into the charts here in a second all right it says dogecoin won't be oh this stupid thing always pops up guys sorry it says dogecoin won't be put down if it can regain this key level now let's see what benzinga is talking about here guys now it says dogecoin was trading about 2.41 percent higher on wednesday afternoon following bitcoin all right, guys. Well, pretty much Dogecoin is rides pretty much with with uh, Doge, Dogecoin rather correlates with Bitcoin. So whatever Bitcoin does, pretty much Dogecoin does as well, guys. That's just the way it is right now. It's, we're kind of uh, at the hip with Bitcoin. Now it says uh, it says which was trading back above support and resistance levels at the 39, 4, 40, 39,489 mark. Bitcoin could be breaking up from a daily bull flag pattern charted by Benzinga on Monday which would, in turn, be bullish for Dogecoin. Dogecoin bulls and bears may be waiting to see the final text of the infrastructure bill, which could negatively affect the crypto space if it includes forcing brokers to report to the IRS. All right, I'm going to touch on that real quick. Now, guys, I truly, you know, I agree as well. You know what I mean? There is a lot of uh, kind of fear of this uncertainty of what's going to happen with this infrastructure and crypto tax that is in the writing, right? But they're kind of changing it up. So for now, it's just hearsay. It hasn't passed. It's not set in stone. But we'll see what takes place, right? Because it could possibly affect crypto in a negative way. But hopefully it doesn't. It says Wednesday, Senator Durbin uh, said he expects the bill to pass the Senate this weekend or Monday. The Dogecoin chart. The wildly popular Shiba Inu-themed cryptocurrency has been hovering around the 20 cent mark since July 21st when it broke up, broke up bullishly from a descending trend line that had been holding it down since June 1st. All right, guys. So basically, the, it's a descending triangle, right? We've broken up to the upside. And I'll show you that here in the chart. And they are correct, right? We have been pretty much uh, bouncing between 19. Sometimes, okay, we have gotten up to 21 cents. But for the most part, it's more 19, like the lower 19s to the higher 20 cents, right, guys? So that's why I say plus or minus about 2 cents is what we've been trading in a very tight pattern, consolidating in a very tight range, which in my opinion means that we're getting primed for a breakout to the upside. Now, when that's going to happen, hopefully sooner than later. I don't know for sure when, but I'll give you two reasons when we look at the chart on why I am bullish with the technicals and believe that we're going to break to the upside and not to the downside when we break out. All right, guys, so it says, although Dogecoin remains the top trending cryptocurrency on Twitter, the crypto hasn't been given much attention in the form of buyers or sellers recently. On Wednesday afternoon, Dogecoin's volume stood at just $1.67 billion compared to its 10-day average of $8.7 billion. Despite the lack of volume, Doge continues to ride the 200-day uh, moving average, which, guys, that is our level of support, and that is true. We have been pretty much just riding right above it. It says, uh, which indicates overall sentiment in the crypto uh, crypto is bullish, right? And that is true also as well. That's a bullish technical, right? Your 200-day moving average. If you're riding above it, that is bullish, right? And we are riding above it. 
It says Dogecoin is trading in line with the 8-day exponential moving average, but slightly below the 21-day moving average, which indicates bearish indecision. On Wednesday, the 8-day and 21-day moving averages were acting as resistance. Bulls want to see Dogecoin paw its way up to above the MA, as close above the 20 cent level. And it says if it can regain the levels as a as support, it has room to move up towards the 23 cent mark. Bears want to see Doge, uh, Dogecoin drop below the 200 day moving average, right? They do, guys, because that is support. So, which would put it into bearish territory? If the crypto falls below the level, there is some weaker newly created support at the 19 cent level below 19 cents. Dogecoin could retrace to that 16 cent mark. And I agree with that as well, guys, because the next level of support is at 16 cents if we were to dip below that 200 day moving average. All right, guys, now let's look at the chart, right, and, and see what I'm going to show you what he was talking about on how we have broken out of uh, that descending triangle, right? I mean, this is the daily uh, chart, right, guys? So we're looking at the white lines right now, okay, not the, the red and red lines. Those are our supports. We'll get to that in a second. So as you can see on these uh, on this channel, right, guys, these two white lines, we have broke to the upside um, since July 21st when we broke out of that descending triangle. Now I'm going to give you two reasons why I am bullish when it comes to the technicals and I believe that we're going to break to the upside. One is because we broke out of this descending triangle to the upside. Two, we broke past our uh, level of resistance which was the 20 day moving average, right? We broke past that. So those are two bullish technicals in my opinion on why it leads me to believe that us trading in this tight pattern when we do break out we're going to break to the upside and hopefully it's sooner than later. All right guys so I just wanted to show you right the uh, how we have broken up to the uh, upside with these white uh, channels right here with these white lines okay now the red lines okay the 200 day moving average is the bottom one as you can see we have been we've been hovering just right above it right guys we tested it uh i think it was the day before or yesterday and the day before we tested it like two days in a row right but we bounced off of it nonetheless we are above it so 19 cents is our level of support which is the 200 day moving average now the red line on top is the 50 day moving average which is at 22 cents guys which is our level of resistance now we need to get smashed past that if we want to continue to push up right guys so those are that is the key takeaway of looking at this uh this chart right here guys all right i like to keep it pretty simple easy breezy now let's get into a little bit of uh some uh crypto news right guys because this is as far as pretty much what i had as far as um doge goes doge news goes so now let's get into some bullet some bullish crypto news right because what's good for crypto and bitcoin is good for uh dogecoin right guys so come on baby load up it says just then it says J jp morgan to offer in-house bitcoin fund to wealthy clients now for those of you that don't know guys jp morgan is a very very big wealthy company that has trillions of trillions and trillions of dollars under management you know what i mean it's funny though because jamie diamond you know what i mean was a hater who is Basically, the big dog for JP Morgan was a hater on Bitcoin slash crypto. Then he said it was all good. And then he said it was all bad. Now he's back onto it. Now that his company is actually offering it. All right. Now it says JP Morgan investment banking giant is reportedly pitching in a Bitcoin fund to its private bank clients this week as per a report in Coindesk. Now, these people have billions and millions of dollars, guys. Big money. Institution money. Now, it says the banking giant had announced its uh, Bitcoin fund in partnership with a New York and why DIG back in April, but didn't start offering it to clients until now. The fund was advertised as the safest and cheapest investment option for their clients. Why, guys? Because a lot of these uh, people with big money, guys, they are interested in, in, in cryptocurrency. Why? Because they know there's plenty of money to be made, and this is the beginning stages of it. That's the bottom line. That's why we invest, is to make dinero, make that money, right? It says this also marks a change in strategy from JP Morgan towards Bitcoin, who have downplayed its demand on several occasions. Now the American banking giant is all set to offer a private Bitcoin fund. The news also comes just weeks after JP Morgan started offering crypto funds to retail wealthy clients. Alright, it says the CEO of the company Jim and Diamond is a known Bitcoin critic and maintains he is not a big fan of the top cryptocurrency, but at the same has accepted that if clients want to invest in something they would offer it right the wealth management ceo and at the bank had recently said that the clients see bitcoin as a asset class all right guys now like i said see what i mean guys he flip-flops you know what i mean he's he's for it he's for against it blah 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 but he's gonna offer it to wealthy clients why because it's money baby and he sees plenty of dollar signs to be made because that's what this is all about man you know what i'm saying so and that's gonna help push dogecoin 
up white guys it's going to act as a positive catalyst for dogecoin because what's good for crypto and bitcoin like i said is also good for dogecoin all right now let's get into a little bit of more uh bullish news now you have some more institutional investors right right here come on baby load up load up sorry man this thing acts slow oh you piece of poop man let me see if i can find it guys my thing always does this to me i hate when it does this right it uh it loads up and then it my phone acts weird <clears throat> all right guys uh, oh right here now it says institutional investors show growing interest in ethereum uh, DeFi Genesis Global says big players are paying increasingly more attention to Ethereum and the decentralization uh, finance sector in general, according to Genesis Global Trading. Why, guys? Because DeFi is coming and it's shaking the whole financial system up. It's going to change what's been in place for many and many and many of years. That's why so many people are against it, because it's change. It's something new and it's changing the way things have been done for many and many of years. And a lot of people don't like change, even if it's for the positive right i'm not going to dive into the article i just wanted to touch on the uh on the uh, 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 uh just touch on it briefly guys if you want to check it out go into decrypt and check it out but it just goes to show you guys that plenty of institutional big money is involved in crypto guys which is going to help push um all of crypto up right guys and this is the beginning stages all right i'm going to close out with this one other article here guys uh where's it at it's about wells fargo Let's see if i can find it here where are you at uh, where are you at? Oh, right here. All right, guys. How much time have I spent with you guys? Oh, alrighty. You got a little bit more time. You know, it says Wells Fargo starts offering crypto investment to clients. And now it goes, Wells Fargo, one of the largest wealth man managers in the U.S., has reportedly started offering crypto investments to its wealth management clients. It's a key word, wealth management. That means people with dinero. It says, a spokesperson for American Financial Service Company, Wells Fargo, reportedly confirmed to Business Insider Friday that the company has started to offer cryptocurrency exposure to its wealth management clients. Wells Fargo Wealth and Investment Management arm, which includes the firm's private banking services and Wells Fargo's advisors, is one of the largest U.S. wealth manage managers. It oversees nearly $2 trillion in assets. It says Darrell Cronk, the president of Wells Fargo Invest Investment Institute, a wholly owned subsidiary of Wells Fargo Bank, revealed in May that its team was preparing to offer a professionally managed solution for cryptocurrency to clients. It says, we think the cryptocurrency space has just kind of hit an evolution and maturation of its development that allows now it to be a viable investment asset. Then it says, uh, down here it says, in contrast, global investment bank Goldman Sachs said in May that Bitcoin had became an investment asset and clients are treating it as a new asset class. So you guys, you have... You have Wells Fargo, Goldman and Sachs, J.P. Morgan, right, Citigroup, Bank of America, all the major banking institutions, guys, are getting their feet wet, right, and they're getting into crypto. Why? Because there's money to be made, guys. That's the bottom line. That's what I'm telling you, guys. You got to be patient, man. We can become crypto millionaires, man, if you're smart, right, guys? And that's why I have this channel to keep you guys informed, keep you guys always up on current events, man, so we don't get left behind. All right, guys, this is your boy, Hi, G. Hopefully, this video was informative, useful, helpful. If it was, consider to like and subscribe to the channel. If not, it's still all good. I appreciate you anyways. And I appreciate you who stayed to the very end. And my subscribers, much love to you guys. You guys stay safe and stay blessed. Until tomorrow, your boy, Hi, G is out. Peace.